So as we know, the world is in a lot of turmoil right now. There's elections going on, there's division everywhere. Everyone yelling at each other online. Twitter has degraded into verified nonsense. But there is one place that we can always be sure is uh, safe uh, from all controversy and nothing ever goes wrong. I'm, I'm kidding. The United Kingdom is a complete mess right now. And if you don't live in it, let me tell you why. So <laughs> it all starts when Liz Truss became the prime minister, our version of what you might think of as a president, a world leader, a head of state. Liz Truss became the prime minister after meeting the queen on the 6th of September. What's a nice picture. They look so nice together. Two days later, the queen died. So that wasn't really uh, uh, very ideal. And the queen died uh, two days after Liz became prime Prime Minister, so I guess there was only room for one Liz to be head of state of the United Kingdom. She was dead. Not a really good start to your premiership. If you're any kind of world leader, having the most beloved uh, queen in the entire world pass away two days after you meet them, doesn't. it's not a really good look. It's not, not that great. So she decided and she wanted to get back on a good foot. She wanted to hit the ground running. Uh, she wanted to hit the ground running, uh, but she actually tweeted that she wanted to hit the ground. So I don't know what she was aiming for, but she did hit the ground because she came out with a budget, a, a budget that was supposed to be really good for the economy. Uh, it crashed the economy. So there was a 30 billion loss in the British economy after Liz Truss came up with a budget and everyone said, ooh, that sounds really bad actually. That sounds like maybe that isn't a good idea and we shouldn't do it. And she was like, oh, we, maybe we should. She fired her chancellor, who was the one that came up with the idea alongside Liz Truss, which is funny because it was also her idea. And she said, I will not quit. I will keep going and I will press on. She said that on the, the day before that she resigned. So she did not last very long. Actually the shortest lasting premiership in United Kingdom history. Now you may be wondering, what is this all about? I heard the, the, the title and the thumbnail. You need to get into that. Well, now the new prime minister, Rishi Sunak vows to fix Liz Truss's mistakes. We're gonna come forward. We're gonna fix everything that was wrong with the economy. We're gonna fix everything that was wrong with the government. It's a new fresh face to fix things up. Or it's not really a fresh face because he was also the chancellor under Boris Johnson and messed up the economy in the first place. But let's disregard that. Let's forget about that part. It's a new fresh face. Everything is gonna be great. So what are we gonna do? How are we going to appeal to the kids? Because the government is not very much liked by the younger people. Of course, who likes the government? I don't, do you? You probably don't either. We're gonna make a Discord server. <laughs> We're gonna make a Discord server. And that's what the government thought was was the good idea to appeal to the kids is we're gonna we're gonna tap into all the social medias that we've never tapped into before. We're gonna really go down deep. We're gonna hit them where they're at, is what they thought. Um, and it did not go so well. And immediately everybody started bullying the United Kingdom government in their own Discord server. Now, the way that they made this Discord server, it's pretty boring. I actually joined the Discord server, but it's pretty boring because they don't let you type anything. You can only make reactions to posts. And the youth, being the creative bunch of folk that they are, found really fun ways to bully the government through reactions to the posts, which is great. You can't type in the server. All you can do is is join it. So immediately people started using their names and the reactions to the posts to bully the government. Like for example, the pound joined the server. And if you know anything about the economy, which maybe you do, maybe you don't. Recently, the pound has taken a little bit of a stumble against the dollar. And by a stumble, I mean it is run off a cliff. It has went for a skydive. It has went for a bit of a bungee jump off a cliff. It's, it's, went, it's went very, very, very down. And as you can see, the reaction next to the pound dropping the server is a stonks, except backwards, as in the stonks go down. <laughs> so that's a good start. We also, <laughs> we also had, we also had this one. Um, you know, th that's uh, pointed at the, the new prime minister. And also, we had people replying to the first tweet because the NCA which is the National Crime Agency, which is governments run, said that Discord is a popular communication platform often used to share hacking tips. So if your kids are on Discord, they shouldn't be. But we're also gonna make a Discord server. So figure that one out in your head, bet you can't. And then we also have uh, such wonderful bangers and hits such as uh, Welcome Thatcher's Corpse which if you don't know, uh, Margaret Thatcher was a former prime minister in the United Kingdom and generally was not super well liked by the Scottish or the Irish or the Welsh or the 
Northern Irish or the Northern English or anyone except people that lived down south that also did not live in London. Um, so people jo don't like Margaret Thatcher very much. Uh, I, I, I like myself. I'm not a big fan of, of Maggie Thatcher. I think she did some they're pretty not cool things, but hey, there was uh, some memes going around. We also had um, throw eggs at King Charles because about a week ago, there was a person that was detained after throwing an egg at the new king, which to be fair, a little base. Wait, do they have an actual video of it? Oh, I think they do. They have an actual video of the event happening. Oh, he missed. Oh, and yeah, oh, there we go. Only, look, look at that. He's not even a good shot. Not even a good bloody shot. Like that was some poor, poor that was some poor throws to be fair. Some very poor throws. And he was immediately detained while uh, the king was going for a bit of a walk in York. <laughs> Which is funny because he was in York and he almost got hit by the yoke, but he didn't get quite hit by the yoke. He almost did, though. Uh, the guy got arrested uh, and <laughs> he booed the royals and was shouting, this country was built on by the blood of slaves and not my king. Which, I mean, to be fair, people are against the royals. I'm kind of against the royals because I don't really see a use for them anymore, to be honest. And yeah, it was a little bit of colonization that made the United Kingdom empire so rich and so vast and so big. So, you know, a little bit of a, a, a point there, you could say. Um, and then you have Matt, I did I did what I did for love, cock. Uh, Matt Hancock was the uh, former health secretary of the UK because he said that he broke COVID rules while others were not able to see their family members when people were in hospitals dying and they weren't able to go and see anyone while people were isolated. Matt Hancock uh, had a little bit of an affair and he did a little bit of having sex with someone that he wasn't supposed to be seeing because his own rules said that he wasn't allowed to go out and see anyone but he did because he wanted to cheat on his wife and he said that he fell in love and that he messed up but he was the health secretary and kind of in charge of making the rules for everyone and now he's on a, a show called I'm a celebrity and it's a whole thing he he went on a reality tv show afterwards and everyone is a little bit mad about that because he is you know kind of making a little bit of money and getting more fame uh, from the mistakes that he made that caused people not being able to see the, their dying relatives while he went and had a little bit of sex. So, uh, a little cringe, Matt. A little cringe, to be honest. Uh, and th then we have... <laughs> then we have a nice little reaction message here when the Treasury posted a, a message. Th the reactions were um, fried C-U-M. Which I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but you know, uh, I, I think you can kind of understand what that is. A little bit of reaction message going on there. And we had a little bit of a controversial moment in the Discord server when so many members joined, there was a technical difficulty that led to reactions not being able to be used, which was cringe because that was the only reason that anyone would join the server. But now the reactions are back and you can react once again, which is awesome because I love to react. And the only posts that you can see on this Discord server are posts that the government actually make, which you can react to. Like for example, Jeremy Hunt, the Chancellor saying that taxes are going to have to go up for everyone and everyone reacting in the appropriate way by typing C-U-N-T and basically calling him a, well, I think you can get it. But anyway, the UK Discord is cool and the government is definitely not out of touch at all. Thank you so much for making that and make sure you subscribe to the second channel for more stupid stuff like this.